All right, everybody, it's safari time, okay? I got a little infestation problem I gotta take care of, and I, and I thought I'd take y'all on the adventure. So Little Jack Jack's like a crumb manufacturing machine. Jack Jack, you got crumbs everywhere, man. I got so many crumbs. <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna spray my house. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. I'm gonna spray my Airbnb, the new property I just bought for uh, some preventative maintenance, as you'd call it in the Army. And it doesn't really have a, a problem, but I'm gonna spray it anyways, take y'all on my journey. I'm gonna tell you what I have figured out over the years about spraying houses yourself to save some money. You know, like spraying a house can cost a lot of money if you get a professional to do it. And if you don't have a huge infestation, you can usually knock it out yourself. A little preventative maintenance will pretty much solve the problem depending on which type of roach you got, the German versus I think the Chinese one. So we're gonna go do my house and I'm gonna tell you what I've uh, kind of learned. I'm gonna tell you where to look and really how to fill the cracks and, and know a little bit about how to keep the roaches out of your house and dead. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do here. So the spray I'm using here is just the ortho that you get from Lowe's, the home defense. I've used just about every type that um, they make. You get it for about 10 bucks. A sprayer's about anywhere between 12 to 15 bucks. A good one will run you about 30. This is the, the better one. A good one if you are the, the cheap one, if you take care of it, it'll last you a few years. The better ones will last you a little more, and you can use it for a bunch of different things, whether you're spraying for bugs or Roundup or whatever. Um, just get one of these, take care of it, put it up in your shed. That's what I do. And you can easily get a few sprays out of one of these refill containers you get from Lowe's or Home Depot. If you've got a really big problem, I suggest getting the good stuff. As a homeowner, usually you can buy small quantities of the professional stuff um, down at your local dealer. Um, and the same thing with a couple other chemicals, but I think termites too. Uh, comment down below if you know about that. I'm in Florida, so I'm sure it's different by state, but let's dive into this. All right, so here's my stuff right here and I'm gonna fill this up. And my thought process is I'm going to crawl under my house to do this. I'm gonna do, under the house I have a crawl space, so anywhere that electrical wires run into my house, uh, you know, like, cause there's a hole where the wire goes up through, um, through the wall. I'm gonna spray around there, I'm gonna spray around the columns underneath my house, I'm gonna sp spray a lot of the, the ground around where they're using them for avenues approach. Cause that's what you really gotta think about here. Let's think about, how these, these, these cockroaches get around. These uh, roaches, we'll just use full, we'll just use the full idea of roach here. Um, avenues of approach, so anywhere cracks, holes, things that uh, they can get into your house and in just places that they can squeeze into anything, but we gotta narrow down. So like if you have any, uh, open spots under your house, side of your house, go get some spray foam, fill those holes up, and then go around with your sprayer, spray the cracks, spray the holes, spray this around your house. If you have a lot of junk around your house, spray, uh, get rid of all the junk around your house. Like you see this right here, this is a uh, no-no. Like I, I need to get rid of that and I plan on doing that here in a minute. Uh, get rid of the junk along the side of your house, get rid of any like, um, unkept hedges, things like that, where the roaches can live in on the outside of your house. Same way with termites. You don't want to have random wood and mulch like up around your house unless it's like treated mulch. Like I know a lot of people use it for decoration, but um, you just got to clean around your house. So like I got to get rid of all this stuff, clean it up, uh, trim it up. And then the crawl space holes, I usually treat those because the roaches come from the outside in. And once I spray, I want to take the fight to them outside of the house. Spray it all. I'm gonna let them have the full nine yards, baby. So I plan on giving them the whole nine yards. I'm giving them the spray. I'm gonna go get some gel, which you put the gel down. They eat the gel, they take it back to the nest. They poop out the, uh, the gel and then the little bitty ones eat the manure and then it kills them and shebang. So. You know, you got to think about a full process. Get rid of the trash, get rid of the junk, give, get rid of the places they can live, do some spraying, get the gel, fill all your cracks and holes around your house, and uh, you're going to be looking good. Just spray this stuff like two to three times a year, and uh, you won't have as much problem as you think. 
just make sure you get all the cracks and holes and random places. All right, so this is my outside refrigerator. These roaches, they love to live around the compressors around them because they're warm and they vibrate and they make them feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So I'm gonna spray behind this bad boy. I'm gonna spray, uh, this is in my uh, little screen room here. Uh, I'm gonna spray the entrance here and then I'm gonna go inside, do the same thing with my refrigerator, garbage disposal, outlets, around any type of water source, any type of food source. So I'm gonna spray under my pantry. I sprayed in my pantry already. So I'm gonna take it to them on the outside underneath my pantry. And then I'm gonna go underneath the bathroom because that's also where the water is. And I'm gonna spray underneath there. I've already sprayed the bathroom itself. So that's the in and the out. And then uh, I'm going to uh, go around and just spray random places. I think they're hiding out in my house and then check my outlets because they live in the outlets because it's warm and fuzzy and see all this junk here no bueno this needs to be cleaned up too um sorry a little shoe rack but as you can see lots of clutter you know it's another avenue approach there gotta spray that um this bad boy right here i'm sure they're living in the condenser and that thing oh the dryer vent because that's a main avenue of approach to get in the house anyway they can get in the house i'm gonna take care of it sometimes i like to live in this vinyl siding too because literally it's not a lot in between vinyl siding and the interior of your house and i'm sure there's a hole in sheetrock somewhere if you have an old house or you have a house in general there's no way you're going to be able to get rid of all the cracks and holes in your house it's just like impossible so you either have to treat it or you have to use some type of uh preventative maintenance some people do like homemade diy stuff out of like borax or baking soda or or like any type of like um dish soap i think i've seen people use but you know what for nine bucks i'm gonna take the fight to them so this is underneath a rug here i built this when i was renovating this house so i could get underneath it and this is how i can get underneath here to spray if you're ever renovating a house build you a trap door all right, so you check this out. See where the AC goes in? And then where the gas pipes go in? Definite avenue of approach. See on top of these columns right here? Like definite avenues of approach. And then if you see where the wires go in underneath the house and the electrical box, those are definitely avenues of approach. So I just look at it like you're deer hunting or you're uh, looking for the enemy and uh, that's where they are. So also if you can see way over there you can see the uh where the plumbing goes in and out underneath the floor of the toilet and the kitchen you definitely places a spray so don't think you have to get underneath your house to get rid of these bugs most of the time when they do like a crack treatment or a uh, crevice treatment they're just going to come in your house they're going to spray into the cracks they're going to get around the edges they're going to do all the good stuff but if you do have a crawl space and you're that you know zealous to get rid of all of them and you can get underneath your house and you can crawl and treat the ways that they're getting into your house uh that's something you can do in my house i have a crawl space i had some time i jumped down in there i sprayed some of the places i know they're coming from and i was able to handle it outside of the house underneath the house instead of waiting for them to crawl into my house and then die where they die you need to make a decision on whether you want to be natural or not natural in your treatment. Uh, I've only really had good, good luck with actual spraying and then just keeping trash, garbage, food, crumbs, cookies, dishes clean, like doing all these things to make sure they don't come in your house because they don't really have a reason to come in your house. They're not really going to come in your house. Just keep your place clean, keep it sprayed, you won't have a problem. Pantry. Samantha built this. It's got all of our food in it. But under here, it's cracks. So I'm going to go underneath here and spray. All right, so this is my newest real estate purchase right here. And we are renovating it. So I figured I would go in here and give it a good spray. You know, gotta get all the cracks and stuff before you put on the quarter round because you know what, it really gets down in there. And in between the where the quarter round grow, goes and the actual wall, 
you know, on wood, traditional wood floors, like there's some space in there that creepy crawlers can come up into. So we're gonna take care of that. All right, so Samantha's been working hard on these floors right here. And before we put the quarter round on, all the way around, I'm gonna spray around the kitchen. I'm gonna spray any of these little cracks. I'm gonna do the bedrooms because it's cheaper than getting a pest control company to come out here and we don't have an infestation. So really just doing some, some preventative maintenance. Um, we gotta fix this floor right here. This is where the old kitchen used to be. So we're gonna put some cool shiplap there and uh, the uh, kitchen's in pretty good shape. So that's not gonna be a problem, but doing these wood wood floors, uh, it's, it, it's great work, but it's hard work, but it's the best way to really get the most for your investment is refinish old wood floors. It's really a, a big thing right now. Not sure if I'm gonna sell this house. I might, I might not, possibly, not sure, could be. One thing I've learned about having a lot of properties, multiple properties, is some things you gotta do yourself, especially when you're starting out in real estate. Spraying for bugs, you can get most of the stuff at the store. Um, you can get the really good stuff if you need to at uh, the specialty shops. Um, there's usually one in your hometown that you can go and get some of the professional stuff. You just can't use it professionally. You can use it on your stuff. Um, but, you know, check your local codes on that, but you know, lo local regulations. But for the most part, you can use some of these you know, household sprays to do your property. You know, like if you've got a lot of properties that can get redundant, but if you've got one or two or just your house, spray it quarterly, use it, you know, in the nooks and the crevices, crawl underneath if you can, spray around, you know, their entrances and exits. The American cockroaches, they, they kind of live or in the proximity of where you see them. Some of them are coming from outside in, some of them live in your walls. You gotta kind of figure that out. Just as long as you clear out the garbage from around your house, the trash in your house, the trash in your garage, no food laying around, no water, um, and then check where they can stay warm in the winter and you'll find most of them and you can spray them yourself. Don't really go and do the whole bomb route, like uh, just spray it, use the bait stations, use the gel, and then if it's really bad, get a professional bomb it. Probably not, probably, you know, uh, the best route unless it is a major infestation and I wouldn't own that property anyways. But if, if you happen to be in that situation, um, roaches can be really bad. The worst I've encountered is squirrels and rats. Squirrels will eat all your wires out of your house and uh, rats will do the same thing. They'll actually tunnel from wall to wall, which is crazy and they'll eat their way in and out of walls and then they'll eat the, the wiring in the walls and cause a lot of damage. But squirrels have really been the most problems that I've seen recently. I saw an electrician not too long ago, rewired a whole house and by the time he got done with it, they had eaten all the wires out of the other side of the house and he just refused to fix it because, you know, he's like, until you fix the squirrels, you can't fix the electricity. So these little critters can be pretty bad. In summation on this video, since I was actually spraying these properties, I thought it'd be a good idea to put my thoughts out there. Um, if you have a really bad problem, like you've taken over a hoarder house or you, inherited a house with, with problems or you happen to have a house with problems, just remember it can be fixed. Uh, if it's really bad, get all the garbage out, clean it up, vacuum it up, and then call a professional. Um, if it's semi bad, you can probably get the chemicals yourself to take care of it um, and save you a few hundred bucks or so. Um, sometimes it's easier just to have them sprayed. If it was a rental property and I had a bunch of them, I'd just have them spray them depending on how long it takes me to get out there and back. But I hope this helps. Um, usually the stuff from Lowe's is gonna work. If not, go and get the professional stuff. And if that doesn't work, then just call a professional. It's really kind of a staged progress. If this doesn't work, then do this, and this doesn't do this. Sometimes you have to treat it a couple times. I will say this, if it's fleas, call a professional because, and, he, and you can get out of the house. Fleas are bad. They just keep coming back because they keep hatching and you got to break the cycle between egg and adult and it can be pretty tough. But that's all I got to say about that. I hope this video helped. Comment down below if you got any opinions. I know everybody's got them and I'll see you guys in the next video.